Welcome to 360 101. Today I'm going to be showing you a few tips for traditional photographers and videographers who are starting to get into 360 with your like Insta 361 or Samsung Gear 360. Um, because a camera is not just a camera. With 360 there are a lot of other things you have to think about like the fact that Locke is ruining our shot right now. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to teach you all of the things that you shouldn't do when you're shooting 360 for the very first time so you don't make that mistake. Tip number one, when you're shooting 360, you're often shooting blind. So with traditional cameras, you have a lot of different options to view what you're shooting. You've got your viewfinder, you've got your screen, but with a 360 camera, you have pretty much nothing. You don't have a live view option. You don't even have a live preview option for cameras like the Insta 361. You are like legitimately shooting blind. Huh? Shooting with 360, unlike traditional videography or photography, is something more like this. Grab Whoa. the gun, put your hands out. Oh. All right, give me a finger. There we go. I, I usually let right handed. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Go. Now, that time he actually hit it. Chances are that's not going to happen for you. Just whatever. <laughs> shoot a lot to get something that works. <laughs> You're out of bullets. Okay. Tip number two. If you can see the camera, the camera can see you. Oh, I see. So now I can't see the camera, the camera can't see me. Good tip, good tip. Tip number three. Since the camera can see you, you might want to go hide. Okay, let's go hide. Okay. Tip number four, choose your locations wisely. There's no such thing as framing. How about we shoot here? Look at that, this is beautiful. I have set the composition, fine, this is good. But there's a truck behind you. Yeah, what, uh, so? That camera is gonna see that truck. What, you can turn, oh right, that's 360. Yeah. Oh yay. I, I think locations okay tip number five if the rain won't go away it's time to put your camera away you can't shoot 360 when it's raining why because there'll be water on the lens oh Look that's that. that's fine i do it all the time there's some tiny little water on the on the, on the it doesn't have to be like perfect perfect it's just a little bit it's oh. fine well if you want to live life in a fishbowl by all means, but that is not gonna work. Tip number six, use a narrow tripod or a monopod because you are going to see it in the final video. Rolling, so let's go hide. Okay, uh, this is rolling. Actually, that is, oh, that is going to fall. Back to the With some heavy stuff, but look at this. The so thin, Tip number seven, keep the camera stable. It's so boring always on the tripod. Let's get it some action. Like A bit of wobble might work for fixed frame videos and even for watching 360 videos on a desktop. But watching an unstabilized 360 video in a headset can make people sick. Literally, it can give viewers motion sickness. Exciting, right? It's not always on the tripod again. What's wrong with you? That is way too much motion. A cool shot for fixed frame video may be less cool and more uncomfortable when you watch it in a headset. Locke, what is the camera doing yeah. in the fridge? Shooting a video. Isn't it cool? Look at that. In the fridge. Shot in the fridge. And That's it's not gonna work. <laughs> no, it's rolling. And it's literally cool, right? Literally when would cool. you ever be in the fridge? Exactly. Open my beer. Okay. 
Tip number nine. 4K 360 video isn't going to look like 4K fixed frame video. Hey Sarah, I think it's quite amazing that these uh, 360 camera can take like 5K, 5 point something, 5 point 2K with the E and GoPro, something like that. I mean, wow, I don't even use 4K on my camera. Like, not many people have 4K display. But with 360, it just, it doesn't look 4K. But, but it is 4K. I mean, but if I shoot 4K, it's 4K in front. It's, but it's like, there's a big difference between like 4K and 4K. But it's still 4K, right? It's 4K, but your 4,000 pixels are spread all the way around you instead of just all right here. But I'm still looking at 4K. When you have a 360 camera shooting 4K, it's spreading those 4,000 horizontal pixels across the entire sphere around you. Because those 4,000 pixels are significantly more spread out in 360 content, 4K is going to look like 1K. Tip number 10, stay out of the stitch. that you should be doing when you're shooting 360. Like audio. And lighting. Uh, what else? Stitching. Uh, stitching. If you're like me, want to know more about how to shoot 360 video, check out Immersive Shooter for all the immersive shooting. Right. All the immersive shooting. But that's all for now. So make sure you subscribe, share, like, this and that. Yeah. All right. Until next time.